Hop aboard, guys! We've got a train to catch! Got it! Strong work, Murray! Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Basson's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse dreams. By Jiminy, I get hot neat the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I'd kill him like a spotted owl. I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on? Have to call up your little friends for help? Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. <laughs> Some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Hey, slide! Get to that clockwork! 
work stomach fast. This old hand cart is starting to fall apart. <laughs> Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, Chum. The clockwork part is mine. It will all be mine. I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replaced Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in.